Hello and welcome to Tip of the Week by the MemGuys.com. This week we're going to cover how to create a mansard roof in Revit, quick and easy. The BIMGuys.com, we do modeling, support, training, and BIM coordination. If you want to find out more about our company, check us out on the web at the BIMGuys.com. So let's jump in. Um, I'm going to go to first floor here and you will see that I have a basic wall going around, a few basic walls. If I go to my section, you'll notice that they go up two stories and we have a roof plan. Now we're going to put a little mansard roof on this. Now again, there's multiple ways to create roofs in Revit, so this is just one way, and I find it relatively easy. So let's take a look. I'm going to go over here to the roof plan. Now in the roof plan, you notice that I do not see the plan underneath or the walls underneath. The reason being is, is view range. You'll notice that the, the view range here is outside of where the walls exist. You'll see it says the bottom of my primary range is from roof level zero and it goes up 20 feet so I'm outside that range. Some ways to see the, the floor plan, one is to actually adjust these views here. Another way, the one I like, is I use what's called underlay. The reason being is, I'll say underlay let's say first floor or second floor or on the first floor I can underlay the roof which is kind of nice it slides it under kind of like the old pin bar system of years years ago. Now the advantage of this is notice when I do a crossing over it I'm not actually picking up the elements. So I won't accidentally move things on the first or second floor uh, by using this underlay tool. Now if I do want to select these elements, we can use the selection tools over here. And you see how Revit gives us the ability to decide on what we select and not select. So if you don't want to select links by accident, let's say your MEP or structure, uncheck that box and then you won't select the links accidentally. You can also do, do the same thing for pinned elements, etc. So this is a great little tool. I usually leave them all off when I'm running and then I turn them on selectively. Also they're down in the lower right hand corner. You'll see that we have all these little graphics with an X. These correlate directly with these here. So if you are looking for something, you can click the buttons down here or you can go right to the descriptors up top, which are a lot, of, a lot easier to start learning with right here. Okay, so there is the, the outline of the roof. Now we're gonna go start to the roof command. Roof, roof by footprint. And then what we'll do is we'll use maybe pick walls or pick lines. So I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, pick lines here. Now we'll tell Revit that we want to define the slopes, and I'll ping that right here. We also want an offset. Now the offset, again, may change depending on the building itself. I'm just going to use two feet. And then I'm going to pick a roof type. Now I'm just going to pick something simple, like so. Now it's time to go ahead and walk around the building. Now you can use the tab command in different ways to grab the building, like I've done here. So those work, but I'm just going to go around and hand select, and you can see them as they're coming along. As I'm placing them, you'll notice that Revit is putting these on a 9 by 12 slope, and that's fine. I'll walk it around. Now when I hit finish, Revit will create that roof. That's a simple roof, and we'll go ahead and check it out in section. And there's our roof. Now being that I use pick line, it goes directly out, and that's the pivot point. If I were to use pick wall, it would have pivoted off of this point right here and came down lower. Now I'm using a mansard roof, so what I'm going to do is I'm using this because it's going to get weird and I'm going to have to hand place the roof myself. So both ways work. Okay, They both have advantages and disadvantages. Back to the roof plan. Now I want this to be a mansard roof, so I'm going to grab this and I'm going to do some, uh, some crazy things. But notice that's kind of the typical way you'd build a roof. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this roof slope. I'm going to make it kind of crazy. I'm going to set it to, let's say, 36 on 12. And you're like, what? Okay, you'll notice that it blows a hole in the roof. The reason being is it's view range. This roof is going up, I don't know, 40 feet in the air. It's going to look crazy. And you'll see it, like so. I'm going to drag the view up a bit. Now, you'll notice that this roof does not have a hole in it. The reason it's showing a hole is because the actual uh, view range is set at 20 feet, so it's cutting it in somewhere in this range here. Now, the cool thing about this is if you grab this roof, notice what they have over here. It says cutoff level. So you can say cutoff level. I'm going to say cutoff level, let's say roof, plus 12 feet. And notice, let's see it here, cannot cut below the bottom of roof. Okay, so let's try that again. I ch I actually, what happened was, let's take a look. I changed the wrong number. See cutoff level? I need to say, sorry about that, roof clicked in the wrong box, moving too fast, and I'll say cut off offset, I'll say 12 feet. Now, you see it cuts it at 12 feet. Notice what we're starting to have here, we're starting to have our mansard roof. So that is really how you can set this thing up. Now if you want to change the slope, let's say you want to go a larger slope, you can come in here and change that slope. 
Now you can use some math if you wanted to figure it out, uh, make it whatever you'd like, and you can continue to adjust these slopes. So once the slopes are adjusted, then we can move it down to where we need it to be. So we can use the move command. You can pick a point, and let's say I know that it's two foot off of here. So I could put a reference plane, or I could just move it down to here, just using the move command, right? And then just quick, I'm going to move it back up two feet. I can type two feet, or just drag out wherever I need it to be. Now you'll notice there is our mansard roof. So maybe we don't want the height to be that tall. You're like, whoa, that's way too big. And it is. So let's go ahead and take a quick look on how to cut this. Again, there's our cut marker. See, so notice it says go to roof plus 12. Well, you may say go roof plus maybe two. And you'll see how it cuts it back. So you see it cutting the roof like so. And that's how we can create our mansard roof. Let's take a look at it in 3D. So there's our little mansard roof going around the building. So that's how we create it. It's just a, a function of playing the math game. We adjust the slopes, and then we adjust the cut planes, and then we create the mansard roof. Let's take a look at elevation. There's north and south. So there we go. Hopefully you enjoyed the tip. If you have any questions or comments, reach, just reach out to us on the web at thebimguys.com. Thank you.